in the FEMA documents and the congressional leaks and, and from people that worked at the camps, we knew, and we would list the camps. Then we noticed when it was declassified in 97 that the very camps that had been, quote, decommissioned under the base closure, because they'd said back in the 80s under Rex 84 they were going to use the camps in Congress. So we said, you want to know where the camps are? They're old military bases, and they're old POW camps from Italians, Germans, and Japanese. Guess what's in here? Guess what's in the bill? They've reintroduced the National Compulsory Service under, under H.R. 1444. Uh, it says for mandatory national service. Uh, Defense Department announces civilian expeditionary workforce uh, in Pentagon Directive 1404.10. It says management retains the authority to direct and assign in civilian employees either voluntarily or involuntarily or on an unexpected basis to accomplish DOD mission. So, see, they're saying they're going to create a 7 million man. That was in the New York Times. The Congress said, I kept saying a million because Obama said as big as our army, as, as big as the military. That'd be a million people. They say 7 million now and that they're going to draft you into this and they'll decide no more draft boards if you stay here or if you go overseas. But this just broke. I just showed you the earlier terror training manual saying those that talk about the Constitution are terrorists and are a danger to police, those that are in Second Amendment groups. Here is the MIAC strategic report, and uh, this is 2-2009, the modern militia movement. And they mix in here people that believe there's nine FEMA regions, people that believe there's a NAPA superhighway, and they show the official NAPA superhighway map the government put out. Doesn't exist. Uh, those that don't want RFID chips being planted with them, and they mix it in then with white supremacists and others, and, and, and they say, we want you to understand the terrorist uh, symbols. It's don't tread on me flag of the, of the founding fathers. You know, the, the flag of the founding fathers, all of it. We're going to go over this. This is amazing. They say in there that there is you know, no such thing as a New World Order banking takeover, as hundreds of newspapers a day say there will be a new bank of the world that you pay carbon taxes to. It just doesn't exist. You're insane terrorist if you believe it. You know, I remember my grandfathers, and it, it was normal just when you were at the dinner table or, or even my dad to do, explain how governments work and how history worked, and they taught the military. You don't have the military on the streets, and we're here to defend the Constitution Bill of Rights, not what the president says if it violates that. And we've gone from that now to a strategic report, 22009, the modern militia movement, and then they mix gun owner groups, pro-gun groups, in with white supremacists. They say those that believe in a new world order, uh, these theories vary, but most always involve a globalist dictatorship. They show, and I'm putting on screen right now, official North American Union SPP maps that have been on CNN of how they're going to have every major highway be an international toll road from Mexico up into the deep north of Canada. And they just say it doesn't exist. These people are insane. I mean, this is a high level of psyop, isn't it, Gerald Salente? Well, you know, that's the way they always do things. You know, they, they lump them all together, and it's one size fits all. I have a question. Do you believe that the military will fire on its people? They're going to stage riots, and then it's going to look like, oh, they stopped the riots. It's reasonable to set the precedent. Like, oh, we do have FEMA camps for medical care where you can stay. You know, it, oh, the troops are here to help at car wrecks. That's how they're rolling it out. And uh, I believe that uh, I think the way they're going to manipulate the military, I think a lot of them are going to fire on U.S. citizens. Because that's a question we're going to pose in the Trends Journal in the next edition. And I, I happen to agree with you. They'll, they'll stage riots. We always see these people that they call anarchists that always have black, you know, always have dressed in black and have masks on. They've been caught being police in... in, in they, sorry, go ahead. No, no, exactly. No, I'm, I agree with you. And I think that they are going to fire on the people, unfortunately. No, don't shoot me, please! Don't shoot me! I haven't done anything! Don't shoot! In, in, in this training manual that's going out to police everywhere in the country, it has a, uh, you know, don't tread on me flag. Uh, it shows America, freedom to fascism, and the film Zeitgeist in it. We just showed that and shows it next to the Turner Diaries 
which was a white supremacist thing about killing police. So see how they do guilt by association. I mean, this is just off the charts. And this was sent to me uh, by the Missouri Information Analyst Center. Police officers sent it to me. That's where they got it from. And I've seen these in Texas versions and others. It's, it's the same thing, but they're updating it. I mean, how do they say none of this exists and then mix in mainstream things that are happening with white supremacists and tell police that people are dangerous if they're into this? You're watching Police State 4, The Rise of FEMA. I wanted to take a little break out to explain the history of the Police State documentary films. In 1999, in 2000 and 2001, I made the seminal Police State films that were a viral success on the web and on VHS and DVD. Fast forward eight years later, it's all come true. Not because I have a crystal ball, but because I'm looking at government documents, I'm looking at the facts, I'm looking at their own white papers. If we can expose the FEMA camps and the executive orders and the shadow government, their system will fail. I've made the film, Police State 4. It's now up to you to get it out to everyone you know. And yes, we need your support. We offer and promote the fact that they're free on YouTube, Google, and thousands of other video sites. We put them out for free. But we do ask you to give us the seed money, the support to run our websites, to do the syndicated radio show, and to make future films. So if you want this documentary in the best quality available and to have the expanded extras, please visit InfoWars.com and purchase Police State for the Rise of FEMA. You can call toll free, 888-253-3139. You can visit InfoWars.com or PrisonPlanet.com. If it hasn't been blocked in your country yet, many have. You can also write to us at InfoWars, P.O. Box 19549, Austin, Texas, 78760. PrisonPlanet.tv is a better tool than ever in the InfoWar. Over six years of my radio and TV shows, all my films in super high quality, my book, Paul Watson's book, all there, 15 cents a day. Your support of PrisonPlanet.tv empowers the resistance to unlock minds worldwide. The destiny of Police State 4, The Rise of FEMA is in your hands. I'm asking all of you to have public viewings, to make copies, and to give to everyone you know. The power of humanity and the human spirit is unstoppable if you'll simply unleash it, if you'll simply take action and turn it loose. I salute you all. Good evening, my fellow Americans. We have been compelled to create a permanent armaments industry of vast proportions. We annually spend on military security alone more than the net income of all United States corporations. We recognize the imperative need for this development, yet we must not fail to comprehend its grave implications. Our toil, resources, and livelihood are all involved. So is the very structure of our society. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic processes. Only an alert and knowledgeable citizen can compel the proper meshing of the huge industrial and military machinery of defense prospect of domination of the nation's profits by federal employment, project allocations, and the power of money is ever present and is gravely to be regarded. We must also be alert to the equal and opposite danger that public policy could itself become the captive of a scientific, technological elite. We cannot mortgage the material assets of our grandchildren without risking the loss also of their political and spiritual heritage. Well, I think terrorism is being practiced on the residents of the city of Oakland because many of the uh, retired, in fact, retired teachers, retired military people have uh, informed me that uh, they they understand what's going on and it's not anything that relates to humanitarian training whatsoever. 
this is a psychological, as we in the research community say, this is a psyops. They're preparing people for what is coming, not what is being presented today. So you're saying they're preparing people to accept it with incrementalism? That is correct, like the old frog example. You know, you put the frog in the water and you just gradually continue to raise the heat on the water until the frog is cooked. And that's the way it works. The problem is that the local people, people in general, just will not take their heads out of the sand. I'm going to tell everyone I can, listen, we have a serious problem. And it's called the police state. It's called the police state.